Hey beauties! Today I'm going to do one of those sort of follow along with me videos that I enjoy watching. Maybe because I like being kind of snoopy. <laughs> but I know that people like these kinds of videos so I thought I would film one. And this video is going to be what's in my medicine cabinet. So kind of what I keep in the different little areas in my bathroom. So come on and I will show you what they are. So first off this is our little uh, master ensuite bathroom. Nothing special, kind of tiny. It's gonna get echoey. These are the two little photos, photos, painting things that I have in here. There's me. And this is our little medicine cabinet that is above our sink. So in here I have three shelves. Start at the top. First thing I have is, sorry, this is gonna be another like rock and roll shaky video. These are my tweezers. I think they're just Revlon tweezers. I really like this style a lot better um, than like the pinchy ones, if you know what I mean. So I have those up there. I also have a set of these. These are the tweezers that I meant that I like the other ones better. Uh, we have nail clippers. Little focus. Nail clippers up there. And I also have these little um, trimmers that I use to trim my eyebrows when they get out of control. I have my little allergy pills. I guess I can zoom this out and then it might not be so crazy. Haha, -ha, there we go. Alright. So I have my allergy pills that I need because I get hay fever. We have like menstrual pills, always exciting. A little pad, a little pile of these little cotton rounds that I use to cleanse my face. My moisturizer, I guess I should show you the shelf these are coming from. Um, this is the Origins Balanced Diet Lightweight Daily Moisturizer. This is what I use most days. I love it. It, has, it smells really good um, and it moisturizes my face without leaving it like crazy oily or sticky. Dental floss. What else is up here? Uh, this is a lightning, whitening, whitening, lightning, zero white, whitening pen. Blech. Um, with zero peroxide, it's like a tooth whitening thing. So that's the top shelf in here. The middle shelf, I think, is full of the exciting goodies. This is sort of more of my skincare. This is my Burt's Bees Intense um, Hydration Day Lotion. This is what I use days that I use a harsher face wash or if my skin is just feeling really dry. Like I bought this when we were in Wyoming in the winter because I needed that moisture. And then I keep these all backwards because I like pull them off and use the pumps. Um, this is my Origins, what's it called? Clean Energy Gentle Cleansing Oil. So I think this is the same idea as like the MAC Cleanse Off Oil. You use this, um, put a pump in your hand, massage it on your face, and then rinse it off with water, and it takes off all your makeup, all your waterproof mascara, and stuff like that too. This is the Origins Make a Difference Skin Rejuvenating Treatment Lotion. Um, I use this sometimes on its own, but mostly along with this, the Origins Pure Cream um, Rinseable Cleanser. That you can also tissue off, quite the name. Um, when I first bought into Origins stuff, I bought this, and the lady suggested using this at the same time, so rubbing a little bit of this on your face, and then rubbing a pump of this on top of it, and then using a tissue to wipe that off at night instead of using water. I use this all the time. I love it. Um, my Origins Purifying Tonic. Um, I use this kind of like a toner after I wash my face. I just put a pump of this on a cotton pad. And I just love how it makes my skin feel. And lastly, over here, this is the Origins Well Off Fast and Gentle Eye Makeup Remover. I use this um, if I'm not wearing very heavy makeup or if I'm not wearing waterproof mascara or anything. I just use that makeup remover. So that is my skincare section. You can tell that I love myself some Origins. And on the bottom shelf, I have the Aveeno Ultra Calming Moisturizing Cream Cleanser. This is one of my favorite cleansers. I used this for a long time, um, even before I bought Origins stuff, and I still love it. It's still one of my favorites, so if I feel like my skin needs 
some more moisture when I'm washing it off or just something really gentle and nice, I use this. It's a nice cream cleanser. Um, I have my toothpaste that's upside down. Tom's um, anti-plaque and whitening fluoride free peppermint toothpaste. I have, this is the body shop, tea tree oil. Um, I love using tea tree oil for my blemishes and stuff on my face and I use it even like over areas that I don't necessarily have a blemish but where I get blackheads or anything or if my skin is oily um, the tea tree oil I find really helps. I have my Yes to Blueberries Age Refresh Eye Firming Treatment. I use this every morning and every night as my eye cream. Um, who knows if it really does a ton. I've been using it for a long time and I like it. I like the feel of it but we'll see. We have my deodorant Lady Speed Stick and my husband's deodorant, the Dove Men Plus Care. So that's what's in here. And I'll also show you, keep this little basket on top of the toilet. Oh, you can ignore it. this stuff that I already showed you. I just sort of tossed it in here. Um, I have one of these little Bath and Body Works wallflower. I don't keep it plugged in all the time. I have this little Origins facial brush which I like. It's just a nice soft brush that I'll use. Sometimes I'll put my cleanser on it, usually with that Aveeno one that I showed you. Uh, just gives a nice exfoliating to the face. Exfoliating. It exfoliates gently. Um, I do find that it really has helped with my blackheads actually, so I like that. I use it once a week, maybe less. <clears throat> I have my Origins Clear Improvements Active Charcoal Mask. I love this. Um, it looks like there's a ton left. But I think it just kind of like sticks to the outside of the bottle. But I'll use this maybe once a week. Um, and it's really nice. And then after that, when I use that, I also then use this, the Origins Drink Up Overnight Mask. Drink Up Intensive Overnight Mask. Um, it's an amazing moisturizer. It feels lightweight, smells amazing, but it really, really moisturizes your skin. So if I do that at night, I just put that on, leave it overnight and it's amazing. I just put it on like a moisturizer. And then I have my Body Shop Vitamin E Moisture Cream. Um, I use this sometimes at night if my skin is feeling dry. It's just a nice, really moisturizing cream. There's me. Hello again. We have this round mirror um, over top of the sink. And then our medicine cabinet is actually on the side here. Got another wallflower going and it leaves this funny little thing on our mirror because it's not far enough away. This one's a little smaller. There are two sections. And I will start with the top again. Here I have my Tresemme Nourishing Rituals Cashmere Touch Hydrating Serum. I don't use this a lot. Um, I'll use this if my hair is feeling really dry. I have the Love Spell Body Lotion from Victoria's Secret. Which smells really good. I have this oil treatment for the hair. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Um, I got this in one of my birch boxes. I haven't used it yet. I have my Aveeno anti itch lotion, my topical antihistamine cream because I do get allergies. I have this is my like homemade lip scrub. So it's like olive oil, vitamin E cream, and white sugar. And I love it. It's amazing. This is I think this is like our um, Neosporin cream. Yeah, polysporin, first aid, antibiotic cream, or ibuprofen, just a generic brand. Um, some Aleve, my and he also bought these like allergy eye drops. <clears throat> this is where I keep most of like my hair stuff that I use frequently. So I'll turn this stuff around. So I have my Ion um, anti frizz lightweight um, leave-in conditioner spray. And I really like this stuff. I bought it on a whim. It was on a really good sale at Sally's. Um, it's lightweight, vegan, it's amazing, smells good, works really nicely. I love this stuff. I've been using it for quite a while and there's still tons left in there. I use that almost every day. I have my Batiste dry shampoo. This is just the original scent. Use that if I'm going somewhere on like second day hair. I have my Giovanni uh, Natural Mousse Air Turbocharged. <laughs> that seems kind of a silly way to do it. Hair styling foam. It's organic um, hair care. No animal byproducts, cruelty free. Love this stuff. Um, 
I mean, my hair doesn't respond to really anything, but I think that does a good job. And then I have a random Olay Quench Therapy, like intense hydrating cream. Um, don't use that very often. This is something new that I've been trying from Ion. <clears throat> um, I do actually like it. Again, my hair sucks and doesn't take on any volume, but I do notice a bit of a difference when I use this. Um, it's heat activated thickening spray. So you just sort of spritz it in before you blow dry your hair and then off you go. And then lastly, I have the Tresemme Tray 2 hairspray and this is the non aerosol version. Um, and it's the firm control. So that is what is in my two medicine cabinets. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys all in another video. Bye! <laughs> Looks like this. It's a coach bag. It's just beautiful uh, neutral colors with the coach C's. I like that they're not like